A lot to get you caught up on, including the story on the Kyle Rittenhouse trial out of Wisconsin. Uh, Rittenhouse, the 18-year-old taking the stand in his own defense, breaking down while describing the moments he shot three people during a night of protests in 2020. The drama, though, uh, did not stop with his tearful testimony. The judge sparring with prosecutors and the defense calling for a mistrial. Kelsey Kernstein live outside the courthouse in Kenosha. Kelsey, a big day for both sides in this case. So what happened and, and what do we know now? Well, Adrian, it was an emotional day in the courtroom. It is not unheard of, but it is uncommon to hear from a defendant in a murder trial. Kyle Rittenhouse telling the courtroom what he remembered on that deadly night. That's right, run. <laughs> Kyle Rittenhouse portrayed himself as wanting only to help others at the August 25th, 2020 protest. But when it came time for cross-examination by prosecutors, they brought up Rittenhouse's silence after the shooting. The judge lashing out, saying prosecutors violated Rittenhouse's right to remain silent after his arrest. I was astonished when you began your examination by commenting on the defendant's post-arrest silence. That's basic law. It's been basic law in this country for 40 years, 50 years. I have no idea why you would do something like that. The defense joining in with the judge. I asked the court to strongly admonish him, and the next time it happens, I'll be asking for a mistrial with prejudice. He's an experienced attorney, and he knows better. Rittenhouse is charged with killing Joseph Rosenbaum and Anthony Huber during the racial justice protests with an assault rifle. Rittenhouse says he was only acting in self-defense. Everybody that you shot at that night, you intended to kill, correct? I didn't intend to kill them. I intended to, I intended to stop the people who were attacking me. By killing them? I did what I had to do to stop the person who was attacking me. On the stand, Rittenhouse claimed that Rosenbaum threatened to kill him twice before Rittenhouse shot him. Mr. Rosenbaum, Mr. Rosenbaum was now running from my right side, um, and I was cornered from in front of me with Mr. Zeminski, and there were. There were three people right there. Take a deep breath, pal. Also in the testimony, Rittenhouse admitting to the jury that he knew Rosenbaum was unarmed, but shooting him anyway, calling his actions unjustified, saying, quote, I didn't do anything wrong. Now, here in Kenosha, trial is expected to resume in the next few hours. If convicted, Rittenhouse does face life in prison. Adrian. Thank you, Kelsey, so much uh, for your reporting and for being there for us uh, live outside the courthouse. Now Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.